What do you do with the stage of recovering from narcissistic abuse where you feel rage? See, the thing with narcissistic abuse, if you grow up this way, is you, as a child, you don't know any different. So you think that all families uh, communicate and behave in this way, and there's always yelling, and there's always fighting, and, and you're supposed to feel bad about yourself, or, or you're supposed to be crying constantly as a child in your room. Some people figure it out at 15 but they don't know what it is. They realize that something is not right, that other families actually communicate and nurture and love. And then when you put together the word narcissistic abuse, then it opens up this whole plethora of emotions. And some people go through a stage of rage because you feel a sense of injustice has been done to you growing up. How do you combat those moments of rage? So with complex PTSD, if you have an emotional flashback, sometimes there isn't a visual component. There's just an emotion to it. And that emotion can be rage. You will just start, your brain has thought of something and you've just started to get to this rage rises up inside of you. What do you do? First of all, what you do not do is you do not take it out on the people that are around you that have nothing to do with that emotion that you are feeling. So first, that is the first thing that you need to harness and to, to control because you control that. So you've had a thought, you could have been washing the dishes or you could be cooking food. You've had a thought that was automatic, that's a memory. And now you're remembering and your brain takes you to this place was of, I should have said this, or I should have done this, or your brain is playing out all these scenarios. Um, and you're trying to, you're trying to think of ways where you can right the wrong or, uh, let's be quite honest, these people get run over by a bus and you feel some sense of, ah, ah, Okay. I was, I was, I got revenge. Vengeance is mine. This is, these are things that the natural brain will go through. Cannot take it out on the people that are around you, your spouse, your kids, your friends that have nothing to do with the emotion that you are feeling. You are allowed to feel the anger. Most of us have to go through because it is wrong, a wrong that has been done. So process the anger. I am angry and I'm allowed to be angry. And what I went through is bull crap. And I shouldn't have had to go through what I've gone through. But you did. Okay, who are we to say we shouldn't have gone through, we shouldn't have to go through something. It has a, it has a purpose. If we don't go through anything, and I'm not justifying these people's behavior, nor justifying what, what you've been through, or saying it's okay. But what you've gone through can catapult you to help others because just you're sitting here today and you're feeling rage over what you've been through. There's somebody else that's going through the same exact thing as you are. And somebody else sitting on the edge of their bed with a bottle of pills on the side of the bed. Or they're thinking, if I just drive my car through this, to this wall, it'll all be over and I won't have to deal with this crap anymore. Because I'm sick of it and I can't do it anymore. You're stronger. You're, you may be stronger than that person. You may be the person that's able to pull that person out of what they're going through. So when you're feeling that anger, allow yourself to process it. You can journal. You can write it down. Over time, I'm telling you, these emotions dissipate. You go through the process and you allow yourself to feel what you need to feel and not judge yourself. See, children that have grown up in this manner, you feel, you feel guilty for having emotions. You feel guilty for having needs, for having wants. Because the parent, the narcissistic parent, it's been all about them and their wants and their needs. What if I told you that as a child you had, you were allowed to have emotions? 
you are allowed to feel angry. You were allowed to feel sad or feel happy and to feel justified in those emotions. You had a right to have those emotions nurtured. And kids don't often understand why they're feeling what they're feeling. It takes a parent to sit there and to explain to them, this is, this is the emotion, this is what you're feeling, it's okay to feel what you're feeling and help the child process it. If you've grown up in a narcissistic household, that was never afforded to you. You weren't given that option, you were told, Shut up, why are you laughing? Shut up, why are you crying? Shut up, why are you happy? Shut up, I'll give you a reason to be sad. I'll give you a reason to be happy, blah, blah, blah. You know what I'm trying to say. You weren't allowed to feel what you needed to feel. So process your emotion. If you need to seek therapy, seek therapy. If you need to get into the word of God, get into the word of God. He shows you who you are. He says, you're allowed to be angry. Don't don't act out in your anger. Don't sin in your anger. Go to him to have him help you process it. Have him help you see them as he sees them. But don't take it out on the people that are in your present that have nothing to do with your rage. You control your emotions. The biggest battle is for the battle of your mind. Out of, the, out of the heart, the mouth speaks. What is the heart? It's a physical pumping organ. It's not referring to the actual... It's, it, it's not wholly referring to the actual heart. The mind. The battle is for your mind. 